Alright, we're going to look at how I created the prints from the picture I drew of my son as a baby. I started off with some backgrounds using cool colors and the jelly plate. These are really simple, just laying down some colors in various directions. Once I had my backgrounds done, I switched to some warm colors and created some prints of the stencil. Paint was a little thicker for these, and I placed the stencil down and then simply rub it onto the paper. I did some of these on plain paper and some of them on the backgrounds that I printed in the previous step. I did notice that I had to be careful to make sure that I got the whole section printed, especially around the face. And I also took advantage of the ability to create ghost prints after peeling off the stencil, and they actually turned out really cool. I repeated this step numerous times. I even tried flipping the stencil so I could see the print facing both directions and using various amounts of ink so I could see whether I liked it with thicker paint or thinner paint. Once I'd done this numerous times, I went ahead and switched to doing foil prints. But first, I decided I would do one more, but with cool colors. I was really glad that I decided to do these prints with the cool colors as well, because you'll see later on that they come in handy when I experiment with some collage. I experimented using some different cool colors with the foil printing and the stencils. I didn't end up particularly caring for how these turned out, but I was glad I did the experiments because in the future I might find a better use for foil printing and mono printing with foil. I think this could especially be useful in the classroom because it's easy materials to get a hold of. The foil simply wrapped around some cardboard and then I printed with this. I noticed that at this point, the stencil was getting kind of hard to work with because it had been printed with so many times. That may have been a contributing factor to whether or not the foil was successful. This print in particular I thought looked really cool even though the image wasn't that clear. I ended up saving it so I could use it in some collage pieces later. One of the great things about all of these prints that I didn't end up using was that I can save the paper and use them like pattern paper for future prints. In order to decide which prints were the most successful, I used my transparency and I laid the transparency over the prints to see which ones I liked best. Since I was going to be doing tape transfers, I wanted to be able to predict what that would look like. I tell my students often that they should envision what their final product will look like as they're working. So that's what I was doing. While the prints did look pretty good on some of my simpler stencils that I did with the foil, I was particularly impressed with how they turned out on some of the ones that used jelly prints. 
the color combinations really popped once I added the outline with the transparency. Here's where I decided to do a collage with one of the cool colored stencil backgrounds. Once I was ready, I started taping and preparing to do a tape transfer. The tape is overlapping to make sure that I have a good seal before I put it into the tray and add water. These, these cookie trays serve really well for this purpose. The paper was pretty wet and I was able to peel off most of it. I noticed it stuck more into the areas where there was more ink. I carefully peeled away all of the areas where the paper still was, being careful not to remove any of the ink that had been transferred. I found that it helped to have my finger wet so that I could get the paper to rub off without actually scratching off the ink. Finally, I applied the tape transfers to the prints that I thought would look the most successful. This part was probably the most difficult because I was actually having to line up the design. Placing the mat over it, I was able to really see what the final print would look like. And here are my favorites. This one is collage. This one has complementary colors. And this one is actually done over some collaged backgrounds of jelly prints.